check it out. This is an exclusive view of Istanbul on a snowy day at the Galata Tower. If you know Istanbul, Galata Tower is one of the best views you could get in Istanbul. I'm just showing it to you guys, okay? So this is a traditional drink, right? In yeah. the winter. Turkish special cold drinks. Hey everyone, welcome to another traveling solo log. This is Solo. And right now I'm here in Istanbul and it's actually snowing outside. This rarely happens in Istanbul. So I just want to show you how a snowy day is in Istanbul. So I'm inside my apartment right now. Let me just open the window. There we go. And you see there's a lot of snow just right outside of my apartment. It's actually rolling up the snow to make a snowman. I might complete later on. But yeah, just check it out, it's snowing. It's so beautiful. This is a rare occasion that snows in Istanbul. It's actually uh, negative Celsius right now, which negative Celsius in Fahrenheit is just like around like 29 degrees Fahrenheit or 28. So it's pretty chilly outside actually. So let me close the window. So today I just want to go outside and just show you a snowy day in Istanbul. Show you around uh, one of the areas and just walk around, show you how it is because I think it's amazing that it's snowing here. So join me along, but before you do, please hit that like button and you know, subscribe if you haven't already. If this is the first video you're watching of mine, I'd really appreciate it. So let's go outside and check out more of the snowy day. Okay, so check it out. So right now I actually just reached Istikal Street. So this is how it looks like. Snowy. You see the snow is sticking to some parts of the ground, but not all parts of the ground. But still right now, very cold. Uh, actually, uh, right now, it's the cold street is actually very quiet too because it's a weekend, so everything's on lockdown right now. So most people that are outside right now are just tourists. Let's see, check out the snow. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to be walking around this area and just show you how it is, how is Istanbul on a snowy day. And this is one of the most famous streets. It's called Istikol Street. I recorded this street maybe a few months ago. I'm just headed here because it's a famous street. A lot of people like to walk on it. Ooh, it's cold. Check out this mosque. It's cool. There's some snow on it. It's a gigantic mosque. Actually, they're planning to finish it probably this year, I heard. It took them a few years to build. Oh, you hear that's a call to prayer just started. Ooh. So chilly right now. Actually not wearing gloves, which I should have brought some, but I didn't buy any, so I couldn't bring any. It's okay. It's a call to prayer right now. I'm going to right now uh, stop the video just because of the call to prayer and then I'll continue it. Alright, catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so let's continue. The van just finished. So you can see all of the places are actually closed over here. Mr. Cold Street. This is such a rare scene because it's snowing and then also it's in lockdown during 2021. It's cold. Yeah, definitely. This guy's a famous Instagrammer if you guys don't know him. He's like the salt based cousin. He's actually really famous in uh, Turkey. He has a restaurant, in, a few restaurants in Turkey. Then he also has a restaurant or two in Dubai. I believe he has one. He's also pretty famous, like the salt base. You guys never seen him on Instagram. Snow is sticking on this tree. It's so beautiful to see snow if you haven't seen it in such a long time. If you don't know, I'm actually from Michigan. So, growing up, every winter you'd see snow and it'd be very cold. So you kind of get sick of it. It's beautiful to see, don't get me wrong. You just get sick of like driving in the snow and just doing everything in the snow. But now since I haven't seen snow for a few years, I really miss it. I'm just happy today to go out. It's a Sunday. So yeah, it's pretty nice. It's really chilly though. This is the first day actually I'm actually like really cold in Istanbul. Sometimes it does get chilly here, but since I've been here, this is the first day actually it's chilly. So I think I'm going to just be walking straight towards the Galata Tower. Then if the Galata Tower is open, today I can show you a beautiful view of Istanbul. That's what I want to do. Wow. 
McDonald's is even closed, you see? Because all the businesses, since they're not really making any money, it's not worth for them to stay open. McDonald's. And right now it's only like around 120, I want to say. Yeah, so it's 120, and you can see all the businesses are closed for the most part. But let me know, do you like snow? Because I love it. It's nice. Nice to see sometimes. But yeah. So you see all the side alleyways, like the street empty. That street over there is near where one of the apartments I stayed in. Uh, just straight ahead to the right. If you want to see that video, you can see it. But there used to be like a lot of like bars and stuff over here. But now everything just closed because of like coronavirus. And now it's locked down today. So yeah. But over here used to be a really like popping area. Like literally every time when I'd go to sleep at night, like I just hear sounds of like loud music and like the bass. But it's interesting now. It's like no, it's dead over there. You can see some tourists over there wheeling their luggage. So Istanbul still has some tourists coming here, but not so much. And uh, recently, I don't know if you've been following the news for like Turkey or even Istanbul now, you have to take a PCR test. In late December, they announced that anyone who wants to come travel here, oh, this camera's a little bit wet from the snow. But anyone who wants to come here has to take a PCR test. Before, they just allowed anyone to come, just as long as their temperature is fine and they see them at the airport, they're, they're fine. You're allowed to go through, but now everyone who wants to come to Istanbul or even Turkey has to take a PCR test at least three days beforehand, before the flight. So that's something for you to know. Ooh. Grab some of the snow. So you can pack the snow pretty well. It's not enough to like make anything big like a snowman. windy okay so i think i want to stop the video now and i'm going to head towards uh Galata tower and i'll see you over there okay so as i'm walking to the Galata tower i just want to stop by over here if you guys know this area i'm still on istikol street the reason why i stopped here just so beautiful here's famous for like having a lot of like coffee shops like a lot of cafes i'm gonna show you looks beautiful right now there's a fountain in the middle snow you see there's a starbucks right across from me little winter wonderland i guess i have to walk a little fast away from this music because of copyright issues but just check it out These statues so snow is sticking, but it's not to everything. All this area is closed. I wonder if it wasn't locked down, would it be open or still be closed? I have no idea. Museum of Illusions, that seems kind of interesting. But this is a museum you'd probably have to be with a friend or a family member to take like interesting pictures. All right. These are the illusions. I don't know if you can see through the window. It's interesting. Food hall over here. Another coffee shop, Cafe Nero. Nero. Look at a guy staring at an animal in the snow, but it's not a real animal. It's a statue. Wow, it's so beautiful. All right, time to go out. Continue to go out the tower. All right, so I just reached the Galata Tower. It's right in front of me. Check it out. It's beautiful. And this tower is really famous in Istanbul, Turkey. So if you ever do come here, you probably want to visit this tower. And the reason why it's pretty famous and why you'd want to come visit in this area is because uh, this tower will give you a panoramic view of Istanbul. It's a very beautiful view. I haven't been up there yet. So I'm about to show you guys. And yeah, so this used to be a little brief history of this tower. So this tower has been up for like a few hundred years and it's been remodeled so many different times. And for one point of this tower, at one point of the history of this tower, it was actually a watchtower to see like fires in the city because it's, it's right now we're like on a hill. So you could see like a whole 360 
a re panoramic view of the city. It just recently been remodeled. So when I first got here, it was actually closed, but I'm just happy now it's reopened. And then let me show you where you can get the ticket. So I just got the ticket. It was 30 Turkish Liras. And then to get the ticket, you get the ticket right here. It's that Galata Tower ticket office. It's 30 Liras per, per person. And what's interesting right now, it's not that crowded because it's on lockdown, so only tourists are technically allowed up here, so that's cool. So I just got the ticket, as I said. I'm gonna head up. It's cool. Where you buy the ticket, it's like a little trolley. So today you're gonna get a snowy view of the Galata Tower. Let's see. It's not bad. 30 Turkish Liras is around like $4, $5. I'll put the price up in the screen. Okay, so this is how we go up the tower. Entrance. Whew, my hands are so cold. Hello. Hello. Okay. Thank you. So I just go up? Six floor. Six floor, okay. So this is the elevator. Let's see, are they gonna have any little elevator show? I don't know. Oh, okay, they do. Beautiful Istanbul. On a nice sunny day. But we're gonna see this today on a cloudy, snowy day. Such a beautiful city. Hit that like button if you think it's a beautiful city, because I do. And you know, hitting the like button helps out everyone. Okay, we just arrived. I've never been here before, so let's see how it is. Okay. So this is the Galata Tower. Some music playing. I hope it's not copyrighted. But wow. Yeah, there's an outside area too. Okay, looks like they have a museum shop. They have some other things in this tower too. It's in Turkish. Let's see. Hello. This is the the midi. Let's see what is it? Medieval boat model. The model was scaled one fourth of the original dimensions of Yenikepi, twelfth shipwreck, which was a small freight boat from the ninth century. This is a model of an old ship. I think we gotta go up. So this is the upper deck. Ooh, look at this. So we're inside, oh, sorry, let's see some beautiful views of Istanbul on a snowy day. Wow. You can see the rooftops, many of the rooftops have snow on it. But some of the snow isn't really sticking to it. Beautiful Istanbul. And also we're on the European side right now, not the Asian side, just to let you know. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful view. But let's let's see what's up over here. This is a miniature model of all of Istanbul. And then you can see like over here is I believe this is Sultan Ahmed area. That's the that's a blue mosque and that's and I think that's Hagia Sophia, and that's a blue mosque. I don't know, but it's the Sultan Ahmed area. I know that for sure. A little chair. This is a miniature scale, scale model of Istanbul. Let's see. It's in Turkish. Let's see. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing right now, actually. Let's see, this one has, maybe this says English. Siri. It's interesting, Siri. This is made by Apple. You see Siri. See if I click on it, does it do anything? Clicking on it, but it's not doing anything. It's okay. Oh, actually, yeah, I think when I click on it. Okay. So when you when you click on a place, like the lights will be highlighted. Let's see. But you can see over there. There's some like LED lights over there. But unfortunately, it's in Turkish. I think there's a way to put it in English, but I don't want to play with it. Wow, I do want to show you the outside view, but wow, it's so beautiful, just 
Wow, there's the bridges over there. See, there's the waterfront. Such a beautiful city. Let's go up and explore. Go up the twisty stairs. So I guess the elevator will take you to the sixth floor and then from there you just have to go up these stairs. Newly remodeled tower. Go outside. I hope it's not too windy outside. So this is the top of the tower. Wow. Amazing. It's not so many people actually here. I heard usually there's a lot of more people. But now it's not that many. You can see it's pretty empty. We came here on a summer day. If it was a normal day, it would be so crowded over here. Whew. Check it out. Ooh, I, I don't know how windy it's going to be, but check it out. It's simple on a snowy day. play the scene but I'm gonna have to cut off the audio just because it's so windy wow let's look below that's a big drop so if you came here on a sunny day you could probably see like more of Istanbul but I just like it it's a unique experience just seeing Istanbul on a snowy day as you can see, it's a little bit cloudy and foggy if you go far out in the distance because the snow is blocking the uh, view and also it's a little bit foggy too. But if it was on a clear sunny day, you could see all of this. It's so beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think it looks beautiful? I do. In here and there's the other one, uh, another video I showed you. There's a tall tower in Istanbul called the Istanbul Sapphire are the only two places I heard in Istanbul where you can see a 360 panoramic view of Istanbul. So if you want to see that video, you can check it out. It's, it's called the newer part of Istanbul, that video, and you can see it's beautiful. Whew. So nice. This is Istanbul. Okay, so I just I just walked from over there. You can see there's a long street over here. So you just keep on walking off straight and you go to Istikhal Street, which is the famous street, and then you go to Taksim Square. Wow, the Galata Tower. See a nice old brick. I don't know how old it is because they remodeled it so many times, but see, wooden floor. Actually I thought it would be a lot more windier, but it's not. Wow. So that's a bridge from, we're on the European side and this is another bridge will take you around Iminonu area, I believe. And over there is like the ferry port. Yeah, let me see, if you follow this, yeah. So I'll take you to Iminonu and then that way we'll take you towards Sultan Ahmed. Wow, beautiful. And then straight far ahead, that's uh, the Asian side, but you can't really see because it's so foggy and snowy. Wow, such a beautiful city. I advise you, if you never came to Istanbul and want to come, come, you won't regret it. Nice, affordable, beautiful. There's a seagull on the, the rooftop. Giving you a whole 360 degree view of Istanbul. Wow. That was a 360 view of Okay, so right now I'm actually outside of the tower. You can see right over here. I'm actually kind of cold. So I want to get something nice and warm to drink in the winter. And I want to go for a Turkish traditional drink called Salip. It's sugary. It's like, I want to say, it kind of tastes like vanilla flavored. And also what they put in the drink is uh, extract from the orchid. And this is the same stuff where they make Turkish ice cream from. They put it in this drink. It's nice and warm. So I want to show you guys how the drink is and how it tastes. And I just saw a place right on my right where they sell solid. And if you know what I'm talking about, please hit that thumbs up because it's delicious. 
sugary drink in the winter. Actually, I heard it's uh, good for digestion. It's supposed to help your digestive system. It's a traditional drink that they've been drinking it for like so many years in Turkey. Let's see. Because if you see like Turkish ice cream, I just want to show you real quick. It's white and actually the texture is different than normal ice cream. Then over here, this place sells salad. That's like cinnamon on top. So I'm going to go to another place because that place looks closed. Over here, I see they sell salad. Hello. Hi. How much is one salad? 17. Uh, 17? Yes. Yeah. How, how much you give for this much? Okay. Let me try one salad. One salad? Yeah. So inside, do you know what's inside exactly or no? Inside there is milk and milk and Turkish uh, popular carb. Orchid, yes. So, so this is a traditional drink, right? In yeah. the winter. Turkish special cold drinks. And that's cinnamon, yes? Cinnamon. Awesome. On the so th this drink you usually drink in the winter, yes? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Awesome. See? Original Turkish drink in the winter. Solid. Here, can you hold this for one second? Yes. There we go. It's oh, recording. Hey. <laughs> this is over here. All right. Here you go, 20. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Ooh. Nice and warm. To find a place where I can drink this. Salad. This is the place where I got it from. I want to just drink it while I'm waiting. Oh, look at this dog. I'm just gonna drink it over here. I'll show you how it is. It's cinnamony. Creamy, a little bit sugary, so good. Thank you, Oh man, it's so good. Let me just show you inside real quick. Here, let me put the camera down for one sec. So you can see inside is like white, white, and then there's just a bunch of cinnamon inside. It's nice and warm. It's delicious. Actually, one of my friends, uh, Aaron from Aaron Explorers, he also has a YouTube channel. Shout out to him. He's the one who actually introduced me to this drink. I drank it, uh, say like about a month and a half ago. I was like, wow, this is pretty good. Check it out, all the little snowy trees. Ooh. Nice. So I'm going to be drinking this and I'll see you in the next shot. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed showing you. Also, I enjoyed just going outside on a nice snowy day in Istanbul. I never did this before. I miss seeing the snow. It's beautiful. So uh, please hit that like button if you still haven't already. And also hit that subscribe button. You know me. I always appreciate it. And yeah, I hope for you guys to stay safe. And comment below, let me know what you thought about the video. So I'm just gonna be walking back right now, enjoying the rest of the day and probably editing this video. Hopefully I could get it up by tonight. If not, tomorrow. Yeah, so catch you guys later. Stay safe.